sports from the sports broadcasting camp, this is Matthew Moskowitz. Along with my partners, Baron Carvalho, Matthew Hitzler. Chicago Cubs shortstops, Jalen Castro, and first baseman Brian Lahir will represent the team for the National League squad in the 83rd All-Star game on Tuesday night. This will be Castro's second consecutive All-Star appearance. He has led the Cubs in hitting for the entire season and has become one of the most exciting defensive players in the league. Lahir is an All-Star for the first time. This season is his first in the majors after spending over 10 years in the minor leagues. White Sox sluggers Paul Canerco and Adam Dunn will join pitchers Chris Sale on the All-Star team roster for the American League. This will be Canerco's sixth All-Star selection and the second for Dunn, who is second in the league in home runs. Sale leads all American League starters in ERA and is an early favorite for the Cy Young Award. In hockey news, the Chicago Blackhawks agreed to terms with 31-year-old Sheldon Brookman on a two-year contract worth two and a half million. Brookbank had three goals and 11 assists and was a plus 11 with the Ducks last season and can help solve the Hawks' problems areas by killing penalties. Now on to basketball. The Chicago Bulls drafted Kentucky point guard Marcus Teague with the 29th overall pick in the NBA draft. Last season as a freshman, Teague averaged 10 points and ranked second in the SEC at 4.8 assists per game while helping the Wildcats win the national championship. And finally, Bears running back Matt Forte recently stated he is unsure if or when he will report to training camp. The All-Pro back has been locked in a contract dispute with the Bears since last season. Forte will earn at least $7.7 million this year under the franchise tag, but it is not the long-term contract he is seeking. Now we'll wrap it up for SportsCenter. For my partners, Derek Farrell and Matthew Israel, I'm Matthew Moskowitz. Good night.